guys! In this video, we will be discussing properties of the operations on integers. Our objectives for this lesson, first, state and illustrate the different properties of the operations on integers and rewrite the given expressions according to the given property. The first property is closure property. If a and b are two integers, the sum of a and b, the difference of a and b, and the product of a and b is also an integer. Examples We have negative 3 plus negative 1. Negative 3 is an integer. Negative 1 is an integer. Therefore, their sum is also an integer. So that is negative 4. Next two, we have 8 minus 5. 8 is an integer, 5 is an integer, therefore their difference is an integer. That is positive 3. How about 3? We have negative 2 times negative 3. So negative 2 is an integer, negative 3 is an integer, therefore their products is positive 6. It is also an integer. Next is the commutative property. Changing the order of two numbers being added or multiplied does not change the value. Ibig sabihin, kahit pagpalitin daw natin yung order ng dalawang numbers, hindi magbabago yung result. Okay? So, for example, let us represent or let us use the numbers A and B. Okay, in addition, A plus B is equal to B plus A. So, pinagpalit natin si A and B, parehas pa rin daw yung makukuha natin sagot. Next, A times B is equal to B times A. So, pinagpalit ulit natin yung factors, dapat parehas pa rin yung makukuha natin sagot. Okay? Examples. We have positive 2 plus positive 3. So, pagpalitin natin, unahin natin si positive 3 plus positive 2. Now, 2 plus 3 is 5. 3 plus 2 is 5. Equal or not? Of course, they are equal. So, therefore, changing the order of two numbers being added does not change the value. Next, 2. We have 3 times 6. Pagpalitin natin, so we have 6 times 3. 3 times 6 is 18. 6 times 3 is also 18. So they are equal. So changing the order of two numbers being multiplied does not change the value. How about associative property? Changing the grouping of numbers that are being added or multiplied does not change the value. Kung kanina, ang commutative property is all about the order, ang associative property, grouping. Group. Let us represent. We have A plus the quantity of B plus C is equal to the quantity of A plus B plus C. Okay? So, sa kaliwa, ang nakagroup si B plus C. Sa kanan, A plus B. Next, multiplication. We have A times the quantity of B times C is equal to the quantity of A times B times C. Okay, so let us have the examples. First, we have the quantity of 2 plus 5 plus 3. So, ang nakagroup dito ay si 2 plus 5. Next, i-group naman daw natin si 5 plus 3. Tignan natin kung mag-change yung value niya kung gin-group natin yung magkaibang side. Tignan natin. We have 7 plus 3 because 2 plus 5 is 7. And then, 5 plus 3 is 8. So, that is 2 plus 8. So, now let us get the sum of 7 and 3. That is 10. 2 plus 8, 10. Equal or not? Equal. So, therefore, changing the grouping of numbers that are being added does not change the value. Next, 2. We have 3 times 4 or the quantity of 4 times 2 
is equal to the quantity of 3 times 4 times 2. So, ginrup natin si 4 times 2 sa kanan o kaliwa and then 3 times 4 sa kanan. Okay? So, let us get the product. We have 3 times 4 times 2 is 8 and then 3 times 4 that is 12 times 2. Next, we have 3 times 8, 24. 12 times 2 is also 24. Equal or not? Of course, they are equal. Therefore, changing the grouping of numbers that are being multiplied does not change the value. Next is the distributive property. When two numbers have been added or subtracted and then multiplied by a factor, the result will be the same when each number is multiplied by the factor and the products are then added or subtracted. So kapag dinistribute daw natin si A kay B at C, makukuha natin is A times B plus A times C. And then, A times the product or the quantity of B minus C, so makukuha natin is A times B minus A times C. Examples, we have negative 2 times the quantity of 3 plus 4. So distribute natin si negative 2 kay positive 3. And then negative 2 kay positive 4. So ang gagawin natin, so we will get the negative 2 times 3 plus negative 2 times 4. So now, balik tayo sa kaliwa. 3 plus 4, that is 7. So we have negative 2 times positive 7. Sa kanan, we have negative 6 because negative 2 times 3 and then negative 8 because negative 2 times 4. Okay? So the product of negative 2 and positive 7 is negative 14. And then the sum of negative 6 and negative 8 is negative 14. Equal or not? Equal. Next, 2. We have 3 times the quantity of 4 minus 2. Distribute the positive 3. That is 3 times 4. And then 3 times 2. So, makukuha natin is 3 times 4 minus 3 times 2. Okay? So, again, let us simplify first inside the parentheses. So, 4 minus 2 is 2. That's why we have 3 times 2. And then, 3 times 4 is 12. And then, 3 times 2 is 6. So, the operation is subtraction. So, 3 times 2, the product is 6. And 12 minus 6, the difference is 6. So, equal or not? Equal. In identity property, we have two. The first one is the additive identity. The second one is the multiplicative identity. So, kapag sinabing additive identity, it states that the sum of any number and zero is the given number. 0 is the additive identity. So, when we represent that, a plus 0 is equal to a. Examples, we have 0 plus 3, of course, that is positive 3. And negative 6 plus 0, that is negative 6. While multiplicative identity states that the product of any number and 1 is the given number, one is the multiplicative identity. So let us represent a times 1, the product is a. Examples, we have negative 3 times positive 1. Of course, the answer is negative 3. Next 2, we have positive 16 times positive 1. The answer is positive 16. So therefore, in the multiplicative identity, any number who multiplied by 1, the answer is itself. Last is the inverse property. In here, we have additive inverse and multiplicative inverse. Let us consider first the additive inverse. The sum of any number and its additive inverse is 0. 
the additive inverse of the number a is negative a. Ibig sabihin, kapag pinag-add daw natin yung number at saka yung additive inverse niya, the sum is 0. So when we say additive inverse, the other term is opposite. So the opposite of positive a is negative a. The opposite of negative a is positive a. So when we represent a plus negative a, the sum is 0. Examples. We have negative 3 plus 3. Of course, the sum is 0. And positive 7 plus negative 7, the answer is 0. Next is the multiplicative inverse. The product of any number and its multiplicative inverse or reciprocal is 1. The multiplicative inverse of the number a is 1 over a. Ibig sabihin, kapag multiplicative inverse, reciprocal. So, ang reciprocal ni a is 1 over a. So, when we represent that, a times 1 over a, multiply natin yung reciprocal, the product is 1. Examples, we have positive 3, the reciprocal of positive 3 is 1 over 3, so 3 times 1 is 3, divided by 3, the product is 1. And negative 9, the reciprocal of negative 9 is 1 over negative 9, so negative 9 times 1, divided by negative 9, the product is positive 1.